when news broke on Tuesday that he has been finally banned from any football related activity, how did you take the news? Thank you. Well, me, it's, it's not surprising to me. It's not surprising to me because, I mean, one would say that in a way it's sad, but yeah, for him, as a human being, Nantechi, yeah, it's sad because a game that maybe you love to be part in, you are bound out of it. It's really not the best, but I mean, it goes about whatever you reap, you sow. You understand? Because 13 years as uh, every president leading Ghana football, where have you, where have we got it? Or where have we reached now? You understand? And, I mean, things are not really the best for Ghana football. Okay. He's brought us to this far as we are in a normalization mm -hmm. situation. You understand? Now we have to normalize our football. We have to make sure reforms are, are done in a very fantastic way so that our football can get back to where you know our football used to be. That is Ghana. And it's this same person and his um, administration that has brought us to this far. You understand? So I feel that, I mean, um, it, it shouldn't have traveled this far, mm -hmm. maybe to the extent of being banned from football, at least you just leaving the scene as every president with your people, then we have different personalities so that they can also continue, uh, you know, um, our, our football uh, governance so that we can get a different, you know, direction or maybe our football will move forward. But, I mean, he was not looking up to that. <laughs>